So good morning. It's a beautiful day out. I just about got here to Fort Detrick and we're gonna give you a tour of my barracks room. If you're gonna be stationed here or if you're thinking about getting stationed here and you are staying in the barracks, you're not married or are not higher rank enough to be living off post, this is what you're looking forward to. So let's get into it. I will mention it is cold as hell up here though. I definitely miss Florida. Like it is so cold. The gym is in walking distance of the barracks, so I love that. But by the time I walk over there, I can't feel my toes. My toes, I want to cut them off and my fingertips as well. First things first, we each have our own room number, um, kind of like apartments and stuff. So when we're getting, um, but I miss having a key card. This is a key door and you can get away with opening it in one hand, but to close your door, it's a two hand job. All right, so first things when you come in is you have a nice full body mirror right here. It's awesome. I, I love that about the room. You have a nice window, which I need some blinders to block in all that sunlight. Work desk, pretty nice. You have a dresser. That's the door to the hall, like small kitchen area. This is the bed. And you have a little nightstand. So pretty small room, honestly, compared to my room at Fort Bragg was honestly, not exaggerating, about four times this size. Um, not even exaggerating. So I have my laundry basket. So this is the closet. It's, it's, my closet was about double that size of Fort Bragg. I have a little area where I keep my shoes, a little hanger area, I have some space above there, keep some stuff. And I have my pull-up bar. My last roommate put me under this. Every time you come in your room, you do about like 10 pull-ups, something like that. And each week I like add one to it. He put me under that. Awesome way to still get a workout in, like to still get some work in every day. Um, after this, actually I gotta do 10. I just came in the door. So yeah, I do have some nights, some stuff that I got myself, you know. Uh, my TV, I brought that over from home. My sound, a bar system, get that from home. My Xbox, got that from home. Yes, I'm an Xbox. I would love to have a PlayStation 4 as well. PlayStation 5 now, I would love to have a PlayStation as well, but I'm an Xbox user. I would love to have both. I do have some stuff under my bed. It's good like storage space and stuff. So, you know, love that. But we have, well, this is supposed to be just, yeah, nice little space, pretty small space, you know, um, comfortable, got a nice little work desk. Get a little trash can and all. And then you have the, kind of this is generally closed. You have this weird old school lock for privacy. <laughs> classic. And then you have this, this is the classic. You got double locks. And you open it, you have the common area because I have a roommate right here. Um, it's basically a flip opposite, like same room as mine. So we share this common space we have one, two, three of these up here, you know, a stack with food. <laughs> this is all my stuff at the bottom. All this is my end at the top. And more stuff for me. They don't have a defect on this base. So you get your BAS, which is like your meal money that they deduct from you. So you have to make your own food. You, they don't even, I don't even think they sell cooked food on this base. I don't think so. Like, um, you know, we pretty much, I pretty much stocked up on food and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much stocked up on food. We have like a microwave in here. It has a convection mode, which I don't think I'll be using. We do have a centralized kitchen upstairs on the second floor. This is three floors. Um, um, we have a centralized kitchen, second floor. And there's the bathroom area. Um, pretty big mirror in the bathroom area. We each have our own medicine cabinet on each side. Love the mirror here. It's awesome. Two towel racks, one for each person. And here is the shower area. Very small, very small. You have your, oh, the shower area is like, you have, I have two of these rods, two of these because the one they came with, is the shower, the curtain is so close to you. It's literally touching your skin while you're showering. It literally is like you're showering and getting dirty at the same time. So I bought my own and kind of moved it out 
so that it's not close to me. So the old one, I can't take it out, but mine is like kind of just, you just install it, quick install one, and I'll be taking that with me when I leave, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. And I also bought my own shower head because the one they had was completely trash, completely old. It's probably been there since the building was built. And this one I have, it's a little bit, honestly, it's not too much. I think it's really, really nice. It has like a full body shower mode. I love it. Definitely a good uh, investment. And I'm gonna be living here for a while, so might as well make it comfortable. So definitely. So yeah, we all shared everybody in the building shared one kitchen, um, centralized kitchen, which is upstairs. Not too bad. Um, let me give a small tour of that. Let's go upstairs to the kitchen. Oh, that means when I come back in my room, we have to do 10 more pull-ups because every time we come in the door, we got pull-ups going back upstairs. All right, so I gotta close my door. It's it's a two-hand job just to close your door. I swear, never closes on the first try. That's the first thing I noticed when I got here. So we're going upstairs. I do like the brick layout, so it looks really nice. Like the brick layout of the building looks really nice. We gotta go around the front. Going upstairs. Ugh. So we all share the same kitchen area. It has to be maintained. They inspect it about every Friday morning because there's a big inspection coming up from Big Army apparently. So the kitchen's literally right above my above my room. It's literally up. Oh, these doors are a pain to open. So here's the centralized shared kitchen. It's got a countertop. You have a big fridge in this one. You have a nice stove. I've used it to cook a couple times. You got a microwave up here, a way bigger sink and a dishwasher. I've used it. It's very nice. I've used it a couple times. And then, yeah, so it's basically like a room and they converted it into a kitchen. That's basically what it is. And it's for the whole building, all three floors. Cause there's only one, it's like dead center in the middle floor. So yeah, it's literally what it is. They have like an extra bathroom and all in here. So yep. Yeah. Ooh, um, I think on the other side, they converted that into a washer and dryer. They said it's generally always broken, annoyingly. Ooh. So that's what I'm dealing with. But I do like that the window's open here. I don't mind the small bar smaller barrack space because, I mean, you don't need much. But I do love that the window's open. That's something a windows didn't open at Fort Bragg. The barracks over there, for some reason, windows did not open. Actually, there's a reason. We lived in the WTD barracks, and that's for soldiers in recovery. And they weren't allowed to have windows that open. Um, yeah, that's a thing. So that was my barracks tour, plus the centralized kitchen area. Um, so that was it for the tour of the barracks room. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you an idea of what it's like either living in the barracks here or just living in certain barracks in the army because most of them are generally about the same standardized. Some are better than others a little bit or farm, like they're not so, so different. Most of them are just about the same, just like that. Some of them you have to share the same room, multiple beds in the same room with people. And some of them you have, you share the common area like here. But I think most of them are like here where you just share the common area and you each have your own individual room. Although I will say the different here though, um, you share the common area, we have different room. Most of them you enter through the same door. Here we each have our own door to come in our room. Like we each enter through different sides of the same building, like of the same common area. Like we each have our own individual door into our room. Most of them, you have the same door into a common area and it breaks off into two rooms. So I really like that here. The privacy is is, an, is extreme, like is next level. Most of them, you don't have that kind of privacy, but here you really don't even have to see a roommate. Like you can be here for like almost two weeks or something like that without seeing your roommate, unless you run into each other in a common area or somehow by the kitchen. We do have a laundry area that we share like in the main, um, the main hall, they call it the warrior hall. We share that. But um, other than that, that's basically it for the barracks door. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you a good idea of what it's like living here. And don't mind my little bump. 
I was going to the gym this morning and I was getting my shoes from underneath my bed and just hit my head on the side of the bed coming up. Oh, it hurt like hell. Oof, I'm still feeling it. Still, my head's still um, throbbing. Oh, so, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.